You've got your newborn sleeping beautifully in their bassinet. But now they've grown a little bit bigger and it's time to move them to their cot or crib. How do we do this? Hi, I'm Amanda, founder and co-creator of Little One Sleep Programs. I'm a paediatric sleep specialist and mother to two darling little girls. At Little Ones, we provide comprehensive online sleep programs for newborn right through to toddler age. We do this via our custom built app where we house our fantastic programs and also have our amazing customer support village where our trained sleep consultants are there day and night to help you through any bumps in the road. Make sure you visit us at www.littleones.co if you have any further questions. So back to today's question. Do you have any tips for transitioning from a bassinet to a cot? My first tip would be that you have your baby in a predictable nap routine because any changes that you're going to make, you want to make sure that it's not thrown out by not knowing when your baby is tired or when they usually would have a sleep and for roughly how long. So this is where our sleep programs are super helpful. We run through exactly at each individual age, even broken down into weeks at this newborn stage newborn early baby stage exactly how long your baby needs to sleep for and at roughly what times and if they were to wake early from a nap when they would need to go to sleep for their next nap. I think the first and most important is make sure they're in a predictable nap pattern so that if you do change anything you know that it's not because of the naps through the day. My second tip would be make sure that you actually start the transition before your baby is fully outgrown the bassinet because you want that extra little bit of wiggle room so that you can use that bassinet inside of the cot or crib to start off with. So when you are doing the transition, start by put, placing the bassinet into the cot or crib for the day naps first of all. This will allow your baby to know that they're still in the same sleeping space but just the bits further on from the bassinet are a little bit different and this shouldn't uh, affect their sleep at all. I would start with doing the daytime naps first for a couple of days and then put them into their bassinet or crib for the nighttime as well. My third tip would be to make sure that the sleep environment of the room is super dark that you've got white noise playing, that there's no lights or monitors on anything around the baby that might be different, that the sleep environment is warm and snuggly as well, uh, to make sure that it is the best environment for your baby to go to sleep. So those are my three tips for transitioning from a bassinet through to a cot or a crib and I hope that answers your question. As always, please give us a big thumbs up if you liked this video and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and click that notification bell so you get notified of videos just like this one.